Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. Here actually one of the YouTube viewer were asking how to subscribe to my channel. So for him first I wanted to give a small guidance to him then I will proceed to my topic. Okay. Just you open any browser it's a Chrome or Edge anything just you open and top of the address bar just you type YouTube enter. See here search bar option you will get. In that search bar just you type Pavitra laptop care okay just enter this is my channel and here subscribe one option will be there just click on that and again on bell, bell icon will come just you click all then you will be subscribed okay what are the videos I will release so all videos you can able to see you told only few videos I have see total 50 videos I have educational videos actually it's specially made for Pavitra laptop care people uh, that's offline online uh, coaching who are taking no? for them it will be useful they can easily understand these videos because it's related to particular uh, topics okay in general anyone can understand this if they have good knowledge hmm? see many videos are there you can view my channel and subscribe and press the bell icon okay next year actually today's my topic is related to a viewer actually see in comment box uh, he is one, my, one of my good friend from Sri Lanka okay see here Mr. Ganesh Chaudhary okay he was asking me to explain the particular IC that ISL 95522AH okay for that I requested him to send the schematic because I didn't have which he wants that uh, I want to know that I want to study so that's why I told him to send so as per the instructions so he sent to me see he joined to my Pavitra laptop care uh, telegram group and see Mr. Ganesh Chaudhary he joined and he sent a schematic as per his schematic the IC was ISL 95522AHRZ okay see Mr. Ganesh actually this is the latest IC it's a charging IC it has two functions one is HPB and uh, narrow voltage DC we will call two functions this particular IC will do but as per the schematic HPB uh, that I will explain you clearly this technology is HPB technology is used here ok I will tell you why it is HPB hmm? see for you I made a small PPT I explained this particular IC see one welcome to Pavitra laptop care ISL 95522A charging IC explained so basic instructions okay this HPB I told you right this hybrid power boost and narrow VDC combo battery charger this particular IC will do two functions okay one is hybrid power boost and second one is narrow VDC as per your schematic this hybrid power boost has used this is the IC see this is a schematic diagram which you sent here why I told you it's a HPB here this discharging MOSFET is there right this gate is controlled by this particular IC and drain is connected to the 19 volts okay this is the major difference between NVDC and uh, this one HPB here in case gate is not controlled by this IC input drain is controlled by this IC then it's NVDC okay for small changes particular some applications will changes okay now at present data sheet not available so follow the image procedures step by step to understand the voltage sequence here I am trying to explain you through the image and you can easily understand 
see this is the IC first step is input voltage that 19 volts first it goes to, goes to first MOSFET and the three leg diode okay it's a PDB01 that is connected to pin number 17 DC in and one more thing it's a DC uh, 19 volts also connected to this pin number 16 through as a voltage divider okay it's input of R1 it has connected and here voltage divider has done and through that AC in produces okay see <coughs> these three are inputs okay once input will come then what are the voltage will produce that you can see here you can read all the things okay what I did here same thing I explained here you can pause it and you can read it see <coughs> after this input voltage the VDDP and VDD will produce ok this is the LDO voltage then once LDO voltage starts you know that AC drive should start ok if this function is good 19 volts all inputs are good then that LDO voltage will start that LDO voltage in previous ICs it's a region ok 6 volts it will start and then AC drive will commence once AC drive will start then you know very well CMSRC CMSRC will start ok this is for comparison then see if all voltages are ok the VDD, VDDP and CMRC and AC drive these all are ok then you will get AC ok usually in previous any uh, charging ICs VDD that is the region voltage is has given as a source of R1 uh, and here on, uh, through the voltage divider the AC OK outsource voltage will produce ok once these all conditions are good then AC OK will produce around 3.2 voltage ok then after this AC OK this you know that CLR CLR input output its negative and positive difference it will take this particular IC it will compare the difference as per the difference it will see that high low MOSFETs will get ready uh, because that input it will take 19 voltage that high MOSFET see once this difference is ok then you know very well the gate voltage will produce one is upper gate will produce next lower gate will produce it will start commencing then uh, what are the required voltage at phase it will generate ok we can get the voltage through this coil and next the function will start as a CLR the same function like this first CLR ok second CLR for battery and first CLR for these MOSFETs see this is the most important thing this is the discharging IC ok MOSFET the gate voltage is controlled by this particular IC ok first it will take 19 voltage from CLR and then the gate voltage will start that is the B gate from this particular IC ok this basic concept you should have that is very very high ok I mean that is a more than enough if you know this concept then easily you can do the service thing ok don't uh, uh, I mean you can ignore all the other voltages I mean other pins because once these voltages are produced if these all are ok definitely you will get the uh, charging voltages ok I already explained this particular uh, uh, terms ok in uh, this end of the particular PPT so you can go through that you can pause it and you can see it ok this is the SDACL the clock and system clock and system data will start ok these all are the explanation which I given so please go through it slowly one by one it's not end it's a beginning thank you thank you very much